Tony and Emmy Award winner John Leguizamo has been doing comedy since junior high school. And now he's bringing his talents to The Daily Show. Leguizamo has more than 150 credits, including movies like Moulin Rouge, The Menu, and for being the voice behind Sid the Sloth and the Ice Age franchise. Starting tonight, though, Leguizamo is the latest comedian to guest host The Daily Show after Trevor Noah stepped down. The Daily Show airs on Comedy Central, part of Paramount. John Leguizamo, what's up, man? How you hey, doing? What's up? What's up? Thank you for having me. Yes. yes of course. Yeah, Thank you for being here. So we were just talking about this during the commercial break. Your comedy was once described as profane, um, political, oh, a teaching tool. Yeah, I was definitely profane. Mm -hmm. but, and but hopefully teach, elevating, I hope. And elevating. Um, will you be bringing that style to The Daily Show? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to curse. I, I, got, I got to check on that. But I, I will try <laughs> whenever I can. And, and, and that, 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 that is your signature. It, it's, it's being as versatile as possible. You can talk about any subject. Um, yeah. What is your approach going into this week? Well, I'm going to bring a little flavor, I'm a, a little Latinx flavor. Uh, okay. You know, I'm going to break dance in it. You're going to break dance? Like, yeah, well, we're actually, actually break something <laughs> while I'm dancing. <laughs> yeah. Is that a good break idea, dance. break dancing for you? <laughs> Not at this age. Yeah. <laughs> Back when I was a young man and I'd spin on my head and rip the hair out of my head. Uh -huh. And I'm going to be with Crazy Legs, the, the, one of the pioneers of... Uh, legend. Break, legend. Yeah. My PR brother. And, uh, and, and I have some Latinx uh, guest stars that are, are a flavor. And I tried to get a special guest, uh, Ted Ooh. Cruz and, and Marco Ruby, but they won't show together? up. Together? You tried to get them I tried, yeah, snowflakes won't come. <laughs> <laughs> so are you approaching this as an audition because you want this job, or you're taking it as this, I'm just going to have fun with it? What's your mindset going into it? I, 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 I'm going to go in there to represent, you know, to show Latinx talent, Latinx excellence. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what I'm going to do. That's mm -hmm. what I'm going to have a great time. I'm going to blow it out. I'm going to turn it Did out. Did you watch The Daily Show coming up? Yeah, yeah, of yeah. course. I mean, uh -huh. The Daily Show helped me survive the Trump years. Mm -hmm. How so? I, I would watch it and be able to laugh at find humor about the oh, situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was so dark. You know, uh -huh. well, the Trump years, uh, he would like them to come back. He's running <laughs> yes. uh, yeah, yeah. for another four Trump years. Uh, he, he's also uh, he, he says he's going to be arrested soon. He might be over this whole uh, hush money thing. Do you think you're going to work that into the show in some capacity? I'm sure we're, <laughs> we're going to work everything. We're going to work Waco. We're going to, you know, the rest, the perp walk. Yeah, but we're, we're going to work everything in there. Are you? I Go ahead, go ahead. I was going to say, are you hoping it happens this week if it happens? That'd be amazing. Oh, oh, the that would be. Yeah, the indictment. <laughs> Thank you. I'd be a god if it all happens while I'm hosting. That'd be incredible. Yeah. Then I could wear an orange suit and pretend to be him. I could do anything. I like hearing that you've been doing comedy since you were in junior high school. So when you started, was it your, was it your dream? What was your dream starting out doing comedy in junior high? Were you yeah, a well, class clown was, type thing? Because, you know, my school was mad competitive for class clowns. Like, uh -huh. you couldn't sit at the lunch table if you didn't bust out some great jokes, they would kick you out of that table. Uh -huh. mm. So I would have to write jokes at night. I had <laughs> files for certain jokes for everybody. In junior high? You yeah, were prepping. Yeah, yeah. You were prepping for You that. had to be. It was competitive. Is, is that where the title Ghetto Clown came That's from? Right, your that's your shows? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so in November, you published an Oprah letter to Hollywood. Yes. Um, basically talking about the Latino representation in entertainment. Or lack of, yeah. Or lack of. And you wrote, if you look Latino or if you have a Latino last name, the odds are against you in Hollywood. Mm. Kind of explain your reason for publishing that and writing that, and where do you think we are now when it comes to the Latino Well, American? I mean, we're the oldest ethnic group in America. We're the largest ethnic group in America. We didn't just get here. We've been here for 500 years. Mm. And, and why are we still invisible? We're 20% of the population, mm. and, and with less than 1% of the leads in front of the camera, less than 1% of the crew behind what less than one percent of the executives how's that possible it's not for lack of trying yeah you know what i mean we're 30 percent of the u.s box office hmm. we had 2.8 trillion dollars to the gdp we're not getting our money's worth mm -hmm. i want my money's worth mm -hmm. and when we have 20 percent of the leads 20 percent of of the executives and the storytelling i'll be okay then yeah is, is there a moment in your career or moments that stand out to you where you're like whoa that, that took me back because there was judgment or some prejudice against you? Oh, oh. <laughs> well, you know, I was up for this movie, and the director called me, and he denies it now, but he called me and said, I want you in my flick. And then he called me back a, a week later and said, oh, John, I can't have you in my flick because I have another Latin actor, and I don't want anybody to think this is a Latin movie. Oh. And I'm like, but the, the original people who were, it's a, it was a true story of two Latin people 
why couldn't a real Latin person be in the Latin role? Yes. It just wasn't allowed. Yes. There was these unspoken quotas and so, wow. cheap tokenism. Something low, low you never hear. Low expectations the audience as well. Yeah. Well, something you never hear. Too many white people in this movie. We need to do something about right, that. Right, right. I mean, white that people are only 58% of the population. Yes. But if they're getting 100% of the roles, then they're overrepresented by 140%. So what are you working on now that you're most excited, in addition to the guest hosting of The Daily Show? All the Power comes out Friday based on an international novel about young women wanting to protect themselves and through evolution, when they reach puberty, they grow an extra organ that gives them an electric charge and they start taking over the world and flip it over and... Men can't deal and the it's world can't deal. It's such an amazing thought experiment. Yeah. Vlad yes. was, Vlad was talking if, about this last yeah. week. What's your role if it's about women taking over? I play the stay-at-home dad, oh, okay. Mr. Mom, okay. the man behind the powerful woman, Tony Collette, and I, I'm the dad of one of the girls. And it's called speculative fiction uh -huh. because it's based on science and it's very real. It's not magical powers or right. superhero unlimited powers. You seem excited it's just talking story. about that, John. I love that show. Yeah. The show is... I, and it's watch it, guaranteed. Call me if you don't like it. Okay, all right. <laughs> well, all listen, right. we love you, and we appreciate you. Who, Thank who, you for all that. Who's going to call you, John, and say, you know, I didn't care yeah. for that. <laughs> <laughs> Some John Leguizamo. Well, somebody I'll do it. If anybody... <laughs> the best in the business. You can watch John Leguizamo yes. guest hosting The Daily Show tonight on Comedy Central.